Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine. So, uh, let's discuss the very important concept in the uh, object-oriented programming um, uh, that is called class and object today. So, uh, what is object? Basically, object is the basic building block of the object-oriented programming in which um, you uh, basically build all the building. I would say that this is the basic brick that constructs the whole system. So it means that you have to be uh, well aware of the concept of object while uh, developing the system uh, in object-oriented programming. So what is uh, objects and uh, why we use the object? I would say everything that exists in this world is an object. So uh, to solve the real world problem, there are multiple objects that interact with each other. For instance, we have a system hospital management system. What would happen in the hospital management system? There could be a lot of things. There could be a lot of objects that could be interacting with each other. For instance, there could be the nurses, doctors, patients, staff, medicine. They all would be interacting with each other for uh, you know making the whole hospital management system. Doctor would be scheduling some appointments. The patient would be taking some appointments and you know doctor will be prescribing some medicines and there will be some treatment, there will be the test that would be performing in one single hospital management system. So while developing or designing uh, one uh, complete system, we have to be well aware of the objects. So for instance, doctor checks the patients here, doctors and patients are the objects that are interacting with each other. Objects could have the two properties. First of all, the object properties, uh, sorry, two parts. One was object properties and the other one is object behavior. This is also called the object function or the methods. Uh, let's discuss it with one example. For instance, there is one uh, class a doctor. Doctor would have some properties or data. Maybe it would have the ID, its qualification, its name. Uh, its age, its height, its um, um, particular um, you know, doctor number that uh, is assigned to a particular doctor. A doctor could have some behavior. Maybe it would be scheduling some appointments. It could be uh, like you have to get the details of the doctors. So um, this would come under the block of object behavior function or method. I am also taking another example. For example, there is another object with the name patient. It could have some data or properties like patient disease, its age, its ID, its address, etc. The symptoms of the disease. And uh, in the uh, behavior part, we could see the patient may is taking some appointments, it is paying some bill, it is going to um, get some tests. So everything uh, that is uh, comes under the umbrella of the behavior uh, would be the part of this class uh, or object patient. Now I'm going to discuss about the class versus object. What, what is object and what is the, the uh, class? It's a very simple and basic concept. For instance, there is a you know, blueprint of the house or that is designed by some architect or engineer. Uh, that is going to project that is when you will physically um, construct that house, it will look like this. But class does not physically exist. So in the same way, in uh, object-oriented programming world, the class doesn't have the memory existence. But the object is, uh, or the instance of the class is a uh, physical existence in the memory. Now I'm going to write the basic, the first class in the Python. Um, the syntax is very simple. You could see in the red, um, uh, this is the class and it's the name of the class. And uh, here you could write any name of the class. Class is a keyword. You have to be very careful about the indentation while writing something in the Python. Uh, some editors by default automatically define that indentation, but you have to be careful about it. Um, if your uh, uh, Python editor is not supporting that indentation. So in the green, you could see def is again the keyword and uh, uh, method uh, name. After that, you can write the name of the method. It could be any with some parameters. 
and after that you again have to be very careful about the body of the method you have to come up with the indentation part um, and uh, in the object right uh, uh, th that's it you can define the class while writing the keyword class class name and colon and after that you can write the properties and the methods of the class after that what you can you uh, do uh, with uh, you can write, define any name of of the object right in this way i have highlighted here the class name with the red that is symbolically defining the uh, constructor of that class i will discuss about the constructor later on after that that's it you can uh, call the methods and properties of that class so now it's a demo time so let's do it practically so how you can um, do it class after that you can write the name of the class it could be any like doctor colon that's it your class has been defined automatically the editor has come up with the indentation of a tab uh, after that i can use the keyword of the def and write the name of the method or maybe i will write the doctor videos right now i'm not posting any parameters so i'm just defining it itself again it comes up with the tab of two spaces and a perfect indentation over here print Doctor, that's it. So I have defined one class with the one method. Now, what could I do? I could define the object of the class. Maybe DC is the name of object of is equal to doctor. Doctor is a constructor here. That's it. So DC dot. That's it. That's right. Okay, that's great. You could see the doctor's details in the output. This is how you can call the method of the object uh, of the class. So, uh, there is another way of calling the method of a particular class, for example, by directly writing the name of doctor dot doctor details. And in the brackets, I could pass the object details. For example, I'm passing the details of DC. That's it. If I would run, I could see the output. For details, for details. So, uh, basically, this uh, method is used frequently while writing the code, but this is also a valid method through which you can call the methods of a particular class by using, by creating the object. So, DC is the object, doctor is the class, doctor detail is the method or the function or the behavior of that particular class. So, that's it from my side. Thank you so much.